Scott Dollar is on pole, Maggio alongside him on the front row. And it's Sarah Sarato and we go here in Silverstone. Looks like a very good start from Scudero. Machio follows him too. Down to Cops into second position. Campos going with to it. Osawa Khan gets pushed out of the circuit by Gaia Campos and now he comes behind the Campos and Machio trying to go to the in outside and spins around again just like Osama Khan in South Oregon also he can get sp gets hit behind. Not a good start for both of them but here we go and Andras Galero leading the way to Brooklyn. And now Campos is going with, with Osama Khan and trying to go around the outside but Osama Khan has more stress than now Marcos has the Joey will fight too. Now he has the outside Campos as the inside line into Lafayette and Zervos has a bit of advantage but Campos gets a better exit now he has a few meter advantage over the air factor car and there it is. Campos successfully holds the position over Marcos Servos. And Marcos wanna have a look but he remains. But further down Farago going with to with it, Alex Maggio who goes on the track Farago in the squadron and they are still side by side with Maggio. Alex Maggio has the inside line into the next corner but the ST sign and Farago hangs it on around the outside this is so close battle right between the two teammates right there they are still side by side what an amazing battle is right there meanwhile Scolaro is leading the, then comes the other guys and here we go again into Brooklyn still still side by somehow surrounding the turn Macho goes around the outside and very nice overtake on his teammate Look at the replay, this is what happened to Alex Maggio, he, oh he lost the rear, just like a typical move with this car and drops down the order. This is what happened, he car, oh he was just too ambitious on Farago, he nowhere to go, he carried too much speed up the corner. This is what happened to Mark Sanchez, again just like Alex Maggio lost the car and the rear. Here we go, second lap, Asiedu does the same mistake, yes. Oh, these cars are difficult to drive and here's what happened to Iker, now in the cops, that's a very strange place to lose the car, but oh, he also loses the front wing and damages the car. We are all up to and Marcos does a late move into Brooklyn for third position and is he going to get the position? Yes, overtaking so uh, Campos, but Campos is fighting back at the inside, this weather. Very good battle earlier as well at Campos, still holds the position somehow. We are all up for watching Macho again, trying to get past Sabinski, but he spans around again and gets overtaken again. And here we go at the next stop, he's changing bands. What in earth is happening to Alexandro Macho? He just can't stop spinning there. At the front, the battle is still on. Klani going to the back of Andres Colaro and Campos follows into Mirror. Marco Saros gets to Kazi one corner. Surely no, because Osama Klani fights back at the inside line. But the RC Saros and now Marcos Saros has the inside line for second position. Let's see, I think he has a few meter advantage. Yes, now he is ahead of the squadron of driver. What an amazing fight there was between these four drivers there. But he gets very wide and now Campos sees an opportunity to get past Osama Khan. Yes, Sam, he almost goes into the grass, but he has the position. So Khan is fighting back immediately, Campos down into Brooklands, Campos covers the inside line but he just sees around the outside, what an amazing view from Osama Khan there, incredible. And here we go, Macho challenging Sanchez and he goes into the back of the driver and spins round again like the fourth time. And here we go, Marcos is challenging Scolaro, these two are already wheel to wheel and down into Magos, let's see, and Scolaro, they are catching, no, and Marcos Evers gets pushed out of the circuit by Andrea Scolaro. Surely this will be controversial, let's see on the replay of, they are side by side, Marcos gets a really good exit out of Cops corner, they are touching once, and let's see twice, and Scolaro, no, that was clearly Andrea Scolaro falls, I'm sorry, but this was, Marcos couldn't, no, had nowhere to go there, and he just pushed out of the circuit. Well, it's happy to somehow get ahead of Gal Campos for, in, for the last one, but he no <laughs> spins around again, just like the fourth driver to do that mistake, and he gets overtaken. Battle is still on for the lead now. Osama Khan is challenging Andras Scolaro down into 
Brooklands Corners, Cordero covers the inside on the outside by side. Let's see what will happen. But Osama Khan just carries more speed up the outside and overtakes, takes the lead. Very nice job. And here we go. Mensa trying to get past Farago in the other squadron of car. Let's see, he just has the inside line and gets a beautiful overtake on the squadron. Gets up into sixth position there. But they are side by side fighting back and Tabitsky. No, he goes around the out, outside of Tabitsky and Farieri also overtakes the Osaka driver. And no, he fights back there. But Bansa was the position. Tabitsky goes off the track and somehow stays ahead of Gary yeah, Farago in the squad round car. Here we are at the last lap. Osama Kwani takes a checker flag here and wins in Silverstone. Eva Campos gets so close to Skolar but yet has to settle for P3. And here comes Tapinski. Now Fargeri with more speed. Is he going to slash the place on the line? Yes! Just over to Tapinski on the line there. So these are the results. Osama Kwani won out of Andras Kolaro and Gal Campos. Zeros comes in fourth after his disaster and here comes the rest and Majo DNF.